Okay, so <clears throat> last time I played this a couple days ago, I was not feeling all that great. And I'm not feeling all that great now, as you can tell. I feel okay, mostly. It's just, again, speaking is not fun, which is great because this is what I do for a living. <laughs> but we only got a chance to do like an hour and 15 last time. And I'll see how much I can do today. But, uh, yeah, maybe I should have started with this and not the Half-Life stuff. No. Is this like a recap? Wait, what is this? Cool and independent. Oh. <laughs> ah, I'm fine. Chat had a fun reaction to that character. She's so cute. Edge is so cute. She's the cutest character that we've ever had. Vinny, just talk a lot less. Vinny, turn on text-to-speech. Eh. Uh, no. No, Naruto. Chat here, it is the best party. Peach needs a spark, and everyone needs a heal, and I think we all need to... Yeah, we need to update the characters and stuff. Okay. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> <coughs> what is happening to me, chat? I feel like I'm in a Cronenberg movie. I want to be able to... Was that a sneeze? No, no, no. Hang on. No, I'm, I'm probably fine. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Let me just mute this. I'm good. I, I have a mute button. No, I've, I've not had any strep wine recently. <clears throat> yep. I sounded fine yesterday. Unlock that pipe. Oh, right, Luigi. Um... All coins go to healing. thing makes a very good noise upon getting struck. <laughs> but yeah, chat, again, I appreciate your patience. Sorry for the, the Half-Life segment should have been called Half-Life Halloween Grasping at Straws. But, you know, we, we try to get that nostalgia as much as we can. Oh. Yes. 
Squeegee! There we go. Oh, I can't dash. Oh, fuck. I forgot. Oh. Alright, Luigi needs to go into Overwatch mode. Let, let me just take my sniper and put him in these fucking horrible situations every time. Situations that he is not intended for. There we go. Point blank sniper, looty MVP Call of Duty player. Speaking of Call of Duty, it's available now, isn't it? Multiplayer, is it now unlocked? Am I correct? <clears throat> you meant Loogie and not Looty? Might want to save V-Dub for when you feel better. Are, wait a minute, are you implying me and V-Dub are the same person? Oh, you just don't want me to get him sick. Well, <clears throat> the swab was negative, but I guess I could have some other thing, right? I mean... Cold. Voice gremlins. Um. Well, I assume that goes back up. But, uh... I think maybe... Do I want to go through that cave? I don't remember. No, Goomba, fuck off. We just did this. There was a puzzle. There's no way to run out of a battle. Oh, flee. Yeah. <laughs> like an RPG. Oh, but then you have to go back down. Okay, I see. It gives you the opportunity to avoid them again. Oh, there's a green coin challenge. I see it. Oh. Please spend five rabbit bucks to open this treasure chest. What puzzle were um, did I miss last time, chat? Chat was saying I missed a, a puzzle. Oh, it's this one, right? Rotate.
oh, I have to f read all the paintings and then figure out which one is looking at what. Wait, do you mean, um, brute force? Maybe not. Vinny, press look at hint. I bet you love hearing that noise, chat. <clears throat> Professor Backpack, what brings you to Beacon Beach? Oh, precisely! <laughs> the riddle. The king pins the star on his favored son. The outcast runs away toward a new dawn. You got another hint? Professor Backpack, what brings you to Beacon Beach? Never mind. Okay, so the runs towards a new dawn. King pins a star on his favorite son. Oh, this looks good to me. Genius. All right. Okay. Oh God. Will we see Silent Hill 4? Uh, no. I determined pretty early on I'm not going to be playing Silent Hill 4 this year. Well, uh, I maybe, maybe never. Let's go. Why? I don't know. I, I've heard it wasn't that good. I've heard it was half good, half not great. Room is the best one? Uh, what? Well... <clears throat> I... It, you know, there's a chance one year I may check it out, but I'm... I'm not checking it out this year. It's called The Room. Here at Silent Hill Room, where you can laugh, you can cry. Don't hurt Weege. Okay. No, we're good. We can just kite the enemy. All right. <clears throat> Silent Hill 4 has Wind Waker Syndrome. It's a great game, but it wasn't the same as previous games, so the loudest fans hated it. But isn't half of it just, like, the same game, but worse? 
That makes me feel a little weird towards it. Like, I'm... Listen. I haven't played it. Clearly, I don't know. All I've... had is people that like the series tell me... that... it's a bit of a chore. So, you didn't play it. I, I know that, but like, am I gonna commit to a 10 to 20 hour long game? And then, you know, it like taints my vision of the series because I enjoyed the first three so much. <clears throat> that's that's really what I have to determine. And like commit to what may be a mediocre game because I need to see the rest of the series. So that's my assumption. If you want to know my logic, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I've played the game, because I haven't. Yep. I can only tell you what I've um, had people who like the series a lot tell me. Even if it's, like, pretty good, but not the best, that's nice. But also, again, yep. you know, if I'm going to go through the whole game, i got to make sure it's something I really want. And for me, this October has been a lot of stuff. I mean, we've had a lot of major releases. And I've wanted to do a lot of Spooptober stuff, which I have. And I stream less than I used to. So it's a little harder for me to complete full games these days. So that's, that's my reasoning. Vinny, Silent Hill 4 as a game isn't bad. That sounds like a glowing review, my friend. So, never say never. I mean, I love Silent Hill. But those first three games were so fucking good, I almost didn't want to taint my memory of it with a mediocre game. And that's... On top of all the other stuff I was playing. Listen. More and more people have been saying Vinny plays Silent Hill 4. It's it's like this entire month, it's been constant. So clearly, I'm not gonna do it. This year. Vinny stop saying taint. Oh. Clearly, I'm not going to do it this year, but next year, perhaps. <clears throat> I'll think about it. Because now I'm hearing... Honestly, I'm now hearing more positive stuff about it than I've heard in the past four years combined. So, just put that into perspective for a minute. And understand that I am only one person who can only play a couple games at a time. Anyway, let's play Scorn again. Vinny, you are easily influenced, influencer. Yeah, I mean, to a degree, I, I also have to... compile opinions. And... not just one or two, but I've heard... several people, many of whom I trust... say, don't even bother. So, that's good because that's not like, well, geez, now I only have 10 hours. It's like, that's that's 10 hours of my life I'll never get back if I don't like the game. Oh, yeah. yep. Vinny, try it for 10 hours, and if you don't like it, you can just stop playing it. No, no problem. Um, do I have to use those bombs to destroy the gate? Oh, fuck. They respawn? Okay. Damn it, Luigi. Uh -oh. 
Yeah, Luigi. Totally made up for it. Games are also expensive. Uh, with time and energy, it takes you wanting to play a game to play a game. Yeah, I mean, listen, I... I it's really flattering. I have to look on the bright side. I, I'm trying not to be, like, overly cantankerous about it. But I have to also look on the bright side and say, you know what? It's really cool that people want to see me play a game. Like, that's flattering that, like... People are excited to watch me play a game that they like. That's a pretty cool place to be in life. Like, I'm... I'm happy with that. It's just, I... The reason I explain myself so much is I, I do want to make people happy. And, um... I like... You know, I like that my audience... Is patient with me. But I also feel bad that I can't make everyone happy. And so... Ah, oh shit. Ah, oh, damn it. So that, that's why I have to kind of say, hey, listen, I get where you're coming from, but it's just not going to happen. I, I can only do so much. There's two. God damn it. That makes me sad whenever Ouija misses a shot and then he gets sad. There's a lot of respawns. <clears throat> I can see people's logic with you beating every other original time Team Silent game. And 4 basically being the end of that era. I want to say it's worth a look, but maybe not now. Well, like I said, it's good to hear all this positive support of Silent Hill 4. So I'll consider that for next year for sure. Is it as good as Resident Evil 6? Is my question. Is it on the same level of genius, or...? Well, now I just have to stay alive until next year. I won't go skydiving. I won't go free climbing. I'm not gonna go scuba diving. I'll stay out of New York City subways. Kid named International Nuclear Conflict. <laughs> Don't do the chat member. We're having a good time tonight. All right.
a good time with some mild frustration here and there, but a good time nonetheless. How lucky Ouija got with those bombs. Man, they can spawn and then they can just attack right away. Ah. There you go, Ouija. Not far enough? Nah, not far enough. You. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. I really wish there was another way to destroy that... ...the stuff. Uh, Operation Keep Luigi Alive. <laughs> One more bomb. not a good angle. Can do that. Um, just, and just hope that Luigi isn't shot. I'm not really behind cover. I have to, like, pay more attention to cover and, and things. I'm not doing the best job at that. Alright, as long as it's Mario and not we- Oh, right. Oh, right. Yeah, that- that portal. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. I just need to throw that one bomb. Nice camera angles. I forced my family to watch the Rem Lazar Blu-ray. I'm sorry for your loss. Like, your family disowning you? did it. You forced your family. That's a strong word.
That's not like, oh, my family and I. Hello, Vincent. My family and I sat down to watch the Rem Lazar film today. No, you applied the fucking Ludovico treatment from Clockwork Orange on them and made them watch Rem Lazar. And now that when they hear this... From within your mind, no one else can find. They shit and vomit. Puddles used to be fun to play in, you know? Yeah. I'm Electro Dash, thanks for rescuing me. Let me get my second wind and we'll get going. Piss and shit and scrum. Vinny, you know you're partially responsible for this. What, the Rem Lazar thing? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. A little bit. But... It was... The thing is, the Rem Lazar thing was gaining a little bit of traction before Best of the Worst, and then that pushed it over the top. And then I just joined the bandwagon. But... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely a... Uh, I think a small contribution that I've had. <clears throat> I sound wonderful, don't I? Oh man, my voice probably sounds so good. But I definitely am happy that people have um, watched this movie. Because I had to. And Misery Loves Company. <laughs> It was fun in a movie theater. And there, you know, it's a movie of good intentions. It's not a cynical movie. It's it's a, you know, a movie about positivity and being as, you know, good as you can be. And like you know, like doing uh things with your dreams, I guess. I I don't fucking know. Something like that. It's all there. Then the music is pretty good, as I've said. But I'm happy people got some enjoyment. How'd your family like it, chat member? I'm, I don't even know who you are. I don't even remember which chat name that was. Guess we're going up to the lighthouse. They loved Rem. It's now my dad's Halloween costume. Well, that's that's uh That's pretty cool. Rabbit. And now for another... You know what? Now we have the best team. This is officially the best team. <clears throat> uh, Sparks? Alright, engine needs one.
Admit you like Rabid Mario. Yeah, Rabid Mario's fine. Sorry I can't do more. I'm no good at fighting like you are. Until we meet again. Bye. I do think one of the reasons my voice sounds like this <clears throat> is that if I had like a little bit of a throat thing, I just kept streaming through it and recording videos through it and talking and didn't really give it a chance to heal. So. And performed Screamo. Yeah, definitely. Lack of self-care is cringe, bro. I, <laughs> yeah. And that's how you get kids to, like, take care of themselves and eat their vegetables and shit. You just tell them that it's totally, like, cringe. And not Pog. Flame and Stooges. Burn effects. Okay. really bad position. Ashes deal more damage. Dead? Yeah, dead. Good. I'm slightly concerned for my friend, Rabid Luigi. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. This is fine. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be laughing at that. Why did they give her English words? Chat. What? Like... I think... Let's see if we can get Edge up there. <laughs> Edge? I can't believe I'm just saying it. Luigi's going to be out in the open. Huh. 
I guess that's fine. I can't believe they named her after what the devs were doing when they made her. Why did I read that out loud? Of all the chat messages I could have read out loud. I really need to finish reading, like, the whole sentence before I read something out loud. Probably position. God, why did I say that? Yeah. There you go. Just did it. Uh oh. Wait, was that a dead? Wait, 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 wait. Dead weight? Should be death. Why are we just saying random words in this game? Oh, because they're rabbits, that's why. Like, Ubisoft has to know that people don't like rabbits, right? Which is also why they probably toned them down so much for this game. Do they? I mean, I... I would imagine they know. I, but the thing is, fucking, you know, people do like rabbits. They, th these games sell. Not this, I'm talking about like the rabbits stuff that are specific rabbit. And kids like rabbits, I think. Vinny, you're not people. That's right, I am a meat popsicle. I like when rabbits, like, I've, I've even done this, but, like, the rabid defense is, well, at least they're not minions. I love when, like, legit criticism for one thing happens, and then the defense is, it's not as bad as other thing. That's, like, this the galaxiest of brain amazing. shit. We ought to find the decorator and have them do our ship. There's little chance of that. This room was designed by bored rabbits looking to entertain themselves. They clearly abandoned it before finishing. Still, it appears functional. You know, if you want to give it a try. Clever, Genie. 
But did you know that when rabbits design a room like this, they add the reward first? Let me show you. Shiny coin pickup effect. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. Wowzers. Is that a crab? I mean, it is worth the heals, and it's like, that's that's how they get you. Sure, you can use whatever party you want this time. But it starts to get expensive. Here, now I'm using <clears throat> real Mario with the team of Mario Brothers. Fake... I can't, I can't even speak. <laughs> Chad, I can't speak. Every sentence is effort. Mm. Rabid streams are cursed. Yeah, feels like it. to do that battle. You know what? Yeah. I ironic. The rabbits can now speak, but you can't. You know what? I can make some tea. I'll throw some honey in it. I'll do that after this. Punch. Why not punch? <laughs> this dude's immune to fire, right? Wait, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. God damn it.
Vinny, read the ability. Riyadh? What is Riyadh? <laughs> dumb. So dumb. Okay, chat. Do you want to look at this, or do you want to look at this? I know the answer. Be right back. Water is boiling. Everything's prepped. The preparations are complete. Now we wait for the water to boil, to receive the heat. Only then will my plans be complete. And it'll be in a Mario pipe mug. <clears throat> It's funny because earlier today, my voice was fine. It was like 90% fine. And now I sound like sandpaper asshole man. Dry air maybe? Yeah, well, the weather has been really weird. It was Silent Hill. Then it was hot. Then it was freezing. Then it was raining. Then it was a nice day. It's like, what's going on? You know, I like Rabid Mario, but I think we need a healer. I got this. Yeah, we'll just use Rabid Mario. That's fine. Slimer. Please, you've got to win this battle. I can't leave here with you unless you do. If you destroy the eyes, it'll light on fire. And since the darkness dimension and our world are connected, the lighthouse on Beacon Beach will light up too. Hell yeah.
All right. Okie dokie. Gonna get my tea. Enjoy the music. Be one second. Thank you, Rinky. Uh, you know how upset it makes me if I can't do my thank you, Rinky voice? Jesus. Chat, I'm, I'm pretty sure I just made honey tea with a hint of tea. Use the Mortis voice. Just watched a rabbit burn to death. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted to happen there at all. That bomb would have been nice. That's fine. I'm just, you know, I'm going for the eyes. That was a good hit. Okay. Um, respawning. I think we could probably end this very quickly. 
What does that even mean? Yeah, there's not much left. That's it. Speed run. Vinny, say something funny like butt cheeks. Well, I hope you're happy, chat member. That works for me! Let's find out what this honey tea tastes like. Oh, it tastes like hot. It's so hot. <laughs> but cheeks is like rabid level comedy. How can you jump so high? You do thigh workouts, eh? Sun's out. Fun's out. Okay. Um, well, almost. Oh boy. Spark hunters. Pizza topping. <laughs> then we will save every spark we can find here and elsewhere. The spark hunters' grievance will be with us. <clears throat> then they will answer to all of us for although we have enough purified dark mess energy to travel to pristine peaks those warp tunnels go both ways we can return here anytime whenever you need us <laughs> you're my kuruka Right. Yeah. A new side quest and a new planet. Even with the tea chat, there's really... There's no hope for my voice. <laughs> I don't have lemon, chat member. I don't have lemon. I tell you what, though. If I speak like Liam Neeson, I have no problem. I have a very particular set of skills. I am completely fine. I'm completely fine auto-filling my characters. Star Potion will automatically level up a spark.
Which ones do I use the most? I definitely use this one. Fire one's pretty good. What is this green? Casts three shock waves of super ooze. Chet, did I read correctly that I can fast travel? I can't. Oh. Wait, wait, how? Oh, the flags, okay. Um, I can attempt to do one one of these. The pugilist and the princess. Relax, I got the dish. Now that sounds nice, but darkness puddles are at least as dangerous as swimming, right? And you should never swim alone, right? Princess, mind tagging along? Your skill at protecting teammates could be useful. Not that you'll need it, rabbit Mario. Yeah, looks like it's a specific team. <clears throat> Hello. See, I don't need to do commentary. I can just press the buttons. <laughs> Was that supposed to be a Beavis and Butthead reference? Is he trying to say Gabagool, but not saying it properly? that real quick. Uh, nice of the princess to join us. That is effective. Whoa! Please leave. Oh man, I'm just toying with this dude now. 
Like, chat feels bad for this dude. One, two, four. <laughs> Take it easy. Never mind, I hate him. Should have slid into him. Uh oh. Chat, I, I kind of made an unholy mistake. Punk Dukes. I mean, it's nice to not have to equip new weapons, so it's just one less thing to worry about. But the fact that the weapons are just cosmetic now makes me less interested in them. Oh well. I guess for balancing issues too. It's fine. Just looking. Oh, wasn't there like a, a concert? Can spend some of this stuff. Yeah. There was a rabbit who was like trying to start a concert. Hunt down three bombs. Well, this is all extra busy work kind of shit. Oh, fuck. Vinny, I saw King Gizzard last weekend. They were fucking amazing. Did you see them? I was there, yeah. Um... The one in Brooklyn? Well, I saw a dude wearing the Redbox Pigeon shirt. And, uh, and then another person said, Vinny Vine Sauce? And then kept walking. Like, they were just acknowledging that they saw me, and then they just kept walking. Which is nice. No, I I'm very okay with that. I mean, I would have... I would have stopped and talked for a minute, but the concert was over. We were all leaving anyway. Like, the whole stadium was emptying out. But it was... It's nice. I mean, when people... When people say hi and they like what I do and they say, or they're wearing a Red Vox shirt or something, it's really cool. It doesn't really get old. But I also will not tell people I'm going to a concert because it gets really weird. Well, they probably know you're a massive introvert. I wouldn't say I'm a massive introvert. I wouldn't describe myself as such. I'm, I'm like an introverted extrovert. Like, I enjoy meeting new people. I enjoy going to concerts. I like being around people, but just not for long. Like, I need to recharge. And I think one of the, the problems I've had over the years is that I need a lot of downtime, and people mistake that for Vinny hates me. Which... You know... Not usually the case. And, um... You know... It sucks. 
I also am usually not the first person to reach out, but that's also kind of a consequence of the fact that, you know, I became, let's say, um, popular on the internet, because it's like, you tend to get overwhelmed when you have like a, a big, like you have a, a band and a team of people that kind of like work w with you and under you. Oh, I, you know, it's more like the video editing stuff. Um, which the editors are great. They they do their own thing. I don't really have to micromanage. But, um, no, it can just kind of become... Wait, what have I done? The point is, though, um, it can become kind of difficult when there's always kind of something to keep up with, or, you know, some... some issue, or someone who wants to, like, just kind of talk, and it's like, you know, when you have a big pool of people... Right, what she said. When you have a big pool of people in your life, it can be hard to just randomly reach out and kind of keep in touch with everyone equally, which is, I would say, a part of the introvert thing. But when I'm with people, I enjoy... I enjoy. But I might duck out a little early. And uh, the reason I don't tell people I'm going to a concert is just because... I kind of want to enjoy the concert. I don't, you know, I'm 150% less interesting than what people are doing on stage. But, uh, you wouldn't know that sometimes. Yeah, exactly. I don't necessarily want to organize a meet and greet. Like my ego doesn't need filling all the time. Like I can I can go a long time without needing that refill. But it is really nice when someone says hi and and they, you know, they walk up to me and they're like, "Hey, I like your stuff." Like I saw someone in the city when me and Dave were hanging out. And that was fun. And there's like Vinny? I was like, yeah, that's me. Kind of cool. As I said probably a thousand times before, it's nice because I'm not an actual celebrity and I wouldn't want to fucking be one because that on a daily basis sounds exhausting. But I get like um, a hint of it once in a while. Once every month or so, couple months, whatever. Okay. Finny, would you ever accept a handshake? These days, I would prefer not to, but yeah. I mean, Time to handle business. just because you you know you get nervous about hands. Niche micro celebrity, yep, that's it. Hands across the water or hands across the sky. I'm going to say hands across the sky. This is kind of a tough one. The 
Can Mario make it? Nope. And takes damage. That was a very threatening let's a go. That's teamwork. If only we could get Rabbit Luigi in here. It can happen. Good strategic possibilities. Play it safe. Regular Luigi would have been good for this mission. Regular Luigi, what the fuck am I saying? I could have used my spark for that. Oh. I thought he was saying little Ouija time. <laughs> God, God damn Goomba! Make it. 
Um, let's have them reflect damage, or we will we will reflect it. Oh God! Oh, these lads don't want to die. Forget about the Goomba. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. No. Oh, no. More gooms. Why wow, they separated? Okay, this it's not as bad as I was expecting. I think I might be able to just you know end this now. Yep, that's all you need. That was fun. I like the gameplay here a lot. Someone said in chat, thoughts about ending it all. Chat member, jokes aside, I do hope that you can get help for that, if that's something that you struggle with. That's a weird thing to say in a chat room, but know this, I don't know who you are, but I am genuinely concerned. I hope you will be okay, chat member. Because I know what that shit's like and it sucks. And people care about you. Whoever you are. I'm sure there's someone. Or multiple someones. So you you work on that, you figure that out, you get the the people that you can you can trust and maybe um you know, maybe things will get better. Things do get better. Things have gotten a lot better for me. You know, but you got to put the work in too. Someone said can't make your FBI agent sad by disappearing. That's correct. Remember, for every person in this country, in America, there is one FBI agent. Just remember that. One special someone gets Joe Biden as their FBI agent. <laughs> Who? <laughs> now he he's keeping an eye on Corn Pop. He hasn't forgotten. Oh, God. It's so old. Why is everyone so old?
Someone said, I'm sick of these old babies being born. There was uh, some fucking dumb viral tweet about... Like, I swear to God, I'm gonna go crazy if I see an old dude named Tyler. Something stupid like that about, like... Like, sometimes you just can't picture an old person with a certain name. Just like you can't picture a young person with the name, like, Gertrude. Who the hell names their kid Vine Sauce? Yeah. A real jackass. Vinny, is your voice okay? No! <laughs> nope. When I was a kid, I used to think that pneumonia was ammonia. I was like, why are people eating ammonia? I also thought it was a Michael Jackson noise. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a winner. Ammonia. What he's actually saying is, I'm on you. You know, like he's he's on you. Ammonia. Now I'm on you. Oh, there you go. Got that. Ah, oh, gotta steal lemon. Luigi is a lemon-stealing whore. He knows. Vinny, that's the plot of a porno, no kidding. No, really? <laughs> However, would I have just thought of that? You lemon stealing whore, you chat member, you. Hmm. We are approaching pristine peaks. Nothing warms the heart and awakens the senses like its crisp, fresh snowfalls. And the sound of hot cocoa mugs clanking together over hearty laughter at spirited outdoor fondue parties. Well, I thought the script was okay. I thought it started strong. And it had a pretty strong ending, but the middle bits weren't all that great. Cinematography was good. Sound quality was good. Good loads of action. But... Overall, I'd say it was it was uh, mediocre at best. Predictable plot twists as usual. Atmospheric scans indicate that its temperature has plummeted. It is now a frozen, dark mess infested wasteland where ice caves rife with danger offer little shelter from treacherous climbs through steep mountain cliffs. Also, fondue pots are difficult to clean, and a major cause of serious burn injuries. Well, I know who I'm not going to add as my plus one for their annual Radnor Rail Rider Snowboard Festival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't want to play too much longer. I'm, I'm, uh, I would like to. The game is fun. I enjoy playing it. I just, I don't, I don't think I could, I don't think I could fucking talk. But, um, I will say the Full Sauce channel, there's the issue that Johnny had to 
at Team YouTube about the Call of Duty video was age restricted for like extreme language and not just fuck or damn. As my analysis confirms, this winter wonderland feels more like a winter wasteland. There is a darkness tentacle north of us in the mountains, the likely source of this misery inducing blizzard. And, uh, there was none of that in that video. Stay put, rabbit Luigi. There will be a warden here somewhere, as with Augie on Beacon Beach, but so far I can detect no sign of them. However, I can confirm there is a life form hidden in that tree, and not one of Darkmas energy either. Okay. Let's check on them anyhow. Maybe they know where to find one of those luxury outdoor barrel saunas I heard about. Parkale. Yeah, the the point I'm trying to make is it's an erroneous claim. It's false. There was no extreme language in that video at all. But Team YouTube just gave Johnny like a fucking blanket response. And then they dismissed it. Like, yeah, no, this is your fault. It's possible that their auto captions mistook something Soap said. The character Soap, because he's, like, what, Scottish? But I, you know, I play ball. I don't say the bad words. Well, not anything too extreme. It's just crazy, but YouTube says that, you know, that's what's going on. It's like, well, you're not manually reviewing it, any of this. Could you imagine if someone on YouTube had to watch all two hours of one of my fucking streams? Yes, yes, we can hear you just fine, so you know. Is it okay if I come with you? I'm not much good in a fight, but I can do other stuff. We saw firsthand at Beacon Beach how useful a spark's abilities are. However, oh. <laughs> that tickles! Oh, and I have sonic powers now. That bridge! If I can use my new sonic powers to, sorry, that's loud. Let me try again. Oh, God. The bridge! If I can use my new sonic powers to knock it down, it'll be our ticket to the top of the mountain! Yeah. And I will say these, these, like, Worlds are pretty nicely designed. Like, there's a little, like, lizard fella. No, what is that? That's not a lizard. It's like a marmot. Motherfucker looks like he just got out of a Wii game. Some kind of ice chipmunk. But, uh, yeah, they, they did a pretty good job at fleshing these worlds out, which is always nice. I, I just think it's a really cool game.
That was like a microsecond off. I can't believe they made a game after your green guy with a long tongue emote. Yahoo! It is a good emote. Bingo. <laughs> Sales bot. I think I'm gonna stop here, chat. Ugh. Ugh. Wow. Yeah. It's it's time. Well, thanks for putting up with the stream. I enjoyed it. You know, I, I really uh I really wish I could project my voice a little bit more. But, you know, take some sleep, relax, continue to drink tea, and all that stuff. Oh, rest the throat for us. Anyway, here's Odo on cocaine. Chat, I don't know when V-Dub is going to stop by. He, he just kind of stops by unannounced. So, you know, who knows? But I don't want to get him potentially sick. And uh, what else? Yeah. yeah. No, soon. Soon, maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. Also, wh uh, what else was I going to say, chat? I don't know. I'm, I'm like, my brain is not good right now. <laughs> Sunday. There will be corruptions, and it will be Halloween-ish, and also there is going to be a Half-Life map. <laughs> God, I sound so much more like shit than I did at the beginning of the stream. A vine sauce. There will be a vine sauce Half-Life map. You will show up for it, and you will watch my particular set of skills. All right, good night, everybody. This is pathetic. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you for the support. Thank you for everything. Thank you for listening to this for four and a half hours. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>